Good evening. This is an evening of Thanksgiving, and there is so much to be thankful for. Friendship, family, community, the bounty of nature, the beauty of the Berkshires, and the gift of art. In every corner of the world, people say thank you. But the derivation of the word is fascinatingly different. Our own thank comes from to think, meaning my thoughts are directed towards you with gratitude. It's the same in German. Duncan and Denken. Duncan is to think, Denken is to thank. The Latin expression of giving thanks was gratias, which survives today in Spanish, gracias, and in Italian, grazi, both related to grace and to gratis. So when you do something gratis, you do it for thanks and for nothing more. The French merci, on the other hand, comes from the Latin merces, which means reward, gain. <laughs> Merchant, commerce, mercenary, <laughs> which reveals a more material turn of mind. <laughs> Let's do one more. The Russian word for thank you is spasibo, a combination of two words, spasi, bog. God save. <coughs> now, in an atheistic regime, where a person could have gone to the gulag for expressing, expressing any religious sentiment, millions of Soviets routinely said, God say, numerous times a day. Uh, the irony of language is fantastic. The uh, politician and novelist, André Malraux, was invited to this country to receive an award. And he was a bit uneasy because he did not speak any English. And his hosts reassured him and said, uh, there's nothing to it, you just say, thank you after the speeches, after you receive whatever it is, say thank you. Put the tip of your tongue between your teeth and say thank you. So you can imagine Monro in his hotel room practicing in front of a mirror <laughs> all afternoon. And then came the evening, he was quite excited and very nervous, and he received the honors. It must have looked like one of those useless soup tureens with two handles and some inscription on it, and he turned to the audience and said, Murphy! <laughs> <laughs> the mainstream of American musical life is fed by many tributaries. A few of them you will be hearing tonight Two major composers who served as directors of several important conservatories in this country were the Swiss-born Ernst Bloch and Antonin Dvorak, whose three years stay here had major consequences. We have our own in-house composer, Brian Suits. We have spirituals, rags, ballads, and we have made Charles Gounod an honorary American for tonight <laughs> because his little piece is so uplifting and so fitting for our theme. The most befitting way to start an evening of Thanksgiving is with a prayer, and we have two of them. Happy holiday.